Right. Let's check in with Carrie. She's got some tips on how to plan the perfect wedding reception. 18 days and counting, Carrie. <laughs> yes, it is. It's getting close. October 1st is the big day. And through this whole process, I've learned so much. And I want to help out all the future brides and mothers if you're going to have, you know, if your daughter's getting married soon. Because there's so much to know. And it can be extremely overwhelming. And one of the big things is the reception. That's the big party. That's where you spend a bulk of your time. And you want to make sure your guests are interested in having a good time. And here to tell us, all about that is an expert, that's right, DJ Mike Hogan, good morning. Good morning, Carrie, thanks for having me on. Yeah, thank you. So let's talk about some of the different things that you've taught me that we can teach other brides on how to keep that reception going and keep guests involved and excited about the night. Absolutely, first and foremost though, as a bride of mine, I gotta tell you, remember one thing, your friends and family are coming to see you guys get married and have fun. So don't sweat the small stuff, ladies. Don't sweat the small stuff. Easier what a, said than done. But I know, I know. Just the, up in that day, though, relax and just let it happen, and you will have a wonderful time. One of the things I wanted to mention was placement of the entertainment. I know a lot of you brides spend a lot of time reading the magazines, and the pictures are beautiful, and the tables, and the flowers, and the cake. But realize a lot of times... What you're actually looking at in the magazine is a staged photo shoot, so there's not even a place for the entertainment. When you're doing this picture that actually they're showing on the channel right now is perfect. A centered dance floor, tables all the way around where your guests can have easy access on and off the dance floor, and the speakers are not going over the tops of grandma and grandpa's tables, so they're being blasted out. You gotta kinda be careful. You want tables on three sides, not four sides. So that is uh, that is really key when you're doing your diagram with your coordinator or with your hotel salesperson. Find out where are we gonna put the entertainment. Okay, perfect. And also scheduling is a big part of this as far as the order of events at your reception. Scheduling is huge. I firmly believe the order of events will have as much impact on the outcome of the day as the music, as anything else involved. And one of the biggest things you wanna try to avoid doing is stopping and starting a lot. People are there to see you guys get married and have fun. And every time I say, if I can have your attention, please, we're, we're kind of breaking that flow. So when you do the scheduling, a classic favorite of mine is cocktail hour is done. We invite the guests into the reception. We give the newlyweds an introduction. Go right into your first dance. It's great energy. It's a natural transition. Your guests will love it. When you're doing things like toasts, don't do them in the middle of dinner. If you stop in the middle of dinner to do the toasts, everybody stops eating. Food gets cold, it's very awkward. So, you know, group your toasts, do them either before dinner or immediately after dinner is one of my big suggestions. And then about a 45 minute dance set before you cut the cake. Okay, we're out of time, but the last tip is keep the bar in the same room as the reception. You don't want guests leaving. Absolutely, we don't want them going out in the foyer or the patio for the party. So if at all possible, keep the bar where the party's at and you'll have a great night. Thank you so much, Mike, for this insight, because it is helpful. You want to keep the guests entertained and involved and you want it to be a fantastic night. And those are some very helpful tips. So thank you. I look forward to I'll seeing see you, you soon. Weeks. You got it. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back with the rendition of the National Anthem.